Okay, as Lisa mentioned, what we're going to do is walk through the results we saw from this year's admissions trends. And a proviso, as Lisa said, these are specific to the University of Texas this year. Your mileage may vary in terms of year to year how things change, but this year was truly a remarkable year for the University of Texas in terms of undergraduate admissions. They saw 66,000 students applied for undergraduate admissions. This was a record high for the University of Texas at Austin. And over the last three years, like so many other schools, they experienced application inflation in ways they never imagined. UT Austin had a 20% increase in applications for undergraduate admissions over the last three years. Now, this year had a specific driver for that application inflation. Um, Apply Texas has, up until this year, been the single platform that students could utilize to apply to the University of Texas at Austin. This time last year, UT Austin, in uh, tandem with Texas A&M University, announced that they would be accepting applications on the Common App the application platform that is most commonly used by schools to accept applications. And like many other large public universities, the first year that they went to the Common App, the University of Texas saw a significant increase in applications, um, a platform that made it comparatively so much easier to add UT Austin to the school. Now the materials that a student has to provide still a significant effort, but this year specifically with the addition of the Common App as an application platform, UT saw a significant increase in applications. There are three other drivers of this application inflation. The first is the growing popularity of the University of Texas on a national basis. We always say this to parents who are Longhorns, uh, parents who went to undergrad or graduate school at UT, the secret is out. This is a national profile school. So um, Princeton Review annually does a survey of 12,000 uh, seniors in high school. And one of the questions they ask them is, what are the dream schools, the schools that you are most excited about on a national basis? Um, UT is the 10th most popular school among students nationally. The top three are schools that you might imagine. UT has become a national profile school. In addition to that, there are two other significant drivers of application inflation at UT Austin. The first is that the school continues to have a test optional policy. Prior to the pandemic, some students would have a test score that they're not particularly pleased with. And so they would see that test score and they would see the sort of bell curve of UT Austin uh, test scores and they would decide not to apply because their test score wasn't on par with the UT academic profile. Test optional has radically increased the students who say, I don't have to submit test scores. And as a result, I'm gonna go ahead and apply to UT Austin. And then finally, students across the state of Texas are applying to more schools, not just UT, but more schools in state and out of state. This past year alone, the state of Texas saw the largest increase in applications from high school students across all schools. And you can imagine UT with its popularity is one of those schools that more and more in-state students and out-of-state students are choosing to apply to. So what's the impact of this application inflation? Uh, many of you are aware of the auto equipment policies at the University of Texas at Austin. Students that are ranked in the top 6% are guaranteed admissions to the College of Liberal Arts. 
they are not guaranteed admissions to a competitive major like engineering or computer science or business. And 75% of the incoming class at UT Austin are auto admit students. This year, application inflation dramatically hit the non-auto admit students. For non-auto admit students, UT Austin reported a 12% admit rate for non-auto admit students. Uh, an admit rate that is frankly on par or pretty darn close to some of the Ivy League schools. And this is even more competitive when you drill it down to specific majors like computer science or business or engineering or nursing. Now, for non-auto admit students, they will see CAP Options, a program that UT offers to guarantee admissions to some school in the UT system. But for non-auto admit students, which oftentimes makes up disproportionately the largest percentage of students applying to UT Austin, that overall admit rate is radically different, not just from when parents like us applied decades ago, but from students as recent as four or five years ago. The other place that this uh, application inflation is really having an impact are these competitive majors. Frankly, where UT Austin routinely says there are more competitive majors, not just overall majors, but that UT Austin has more major, more students applying to be a computer science major, then they have seats. And so as a result, these competitive majors are impacted by application inflation, not just for non-auto admit students, but for auto admit students who list engineering or business or nursing as their first choice major, because in that case, they are still read competitively for that major. Lisa, quick, quick yeah, question. Yeah, one thing I wanted to add here is that as more of the top 6% students apply, they tend towards these impacted majors, okay? So what happens then is that these majors especially are heavily filled with top 6% students, if that makes sense. So as these numbers rise that Bob is talking about, that that impact on these very popular and difficult majors to get into increases at the same time which is you know what he's saying and so we see that because that top six percent pool starts to fill that up and when we say top six percent we're only talking about schools that actually rank their students okay so your student could be at the top of a non-ranking school they're not in that group 